ones. So yes, I'm gonna start this right from the beginning here. I had a little go on this, but just to try it out and see what it was like. Just to see if it was any good for me to, uh, you know, put on YouTube. And uh, what I played was really good, so I uh, decided to do a walkthrough on it. So I'm not going to uh, talk over any cutscenes. Um, but hopefully I should have the subtitles on already for people. Just in case I accidentally speak over something. The trout, so the trout, go. the trout in the tower, the wolves of the fish and they all ran away. The trout he fucked <laughs> off the tower. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Okay, we have to clean the sword now. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Now that is a proper like. sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. Even if we're being honest, why yeah. not? They don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had Andy, you know. And in what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> you think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story, which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. <laughs> Norrin's family. Has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! North! Tomorrow, we march on yeah, Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Winter is coming! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. 
But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, a but guy. as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. So I'm no longer a squire? As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch more wine. Rub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Mm. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Yeah. Fucking phrase. Mm -hmm. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We have enough wine. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <coughs> but what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? They've got weapons. Who brings fucking weapons to a wedding? We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. Fuck! We need to get back to camp!
Sure, I just moved in. Well, anyway, we'll leave it at this part, um, and we'll continue this. Try it again <laughs> after this. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. If you like this, then give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to me. Thank you.